there's always someone creating drama on Halloween, and Tana Monajo is taking home the prize for the most controversial costume. Tana Monajo is a vlogger known for her eccentric personality. She most recently made headlines when her spiteful anti-VidCon convention, TanaCon, ripped off thousands of fans and caused an uproar in the YouTube community. Creator Shane Dawson had a three-part investigative video series looking into the catastrophic events of TanaCon, which went viral and won Shane the Streamy for Creator of the Year. One of the fixtures of the documentary was Good Times Entertainment CEO Michael Weist, who Tana claims lied to her and caused the event to fail. Weist, however, claims that Tana was impossible to work for and made promises that she couldn't keep. The video series was one of the most controversial YouTube series of the year, and it seems like things had blown over with the culmination of Shane's documentary. However, it looks like Tana was adding fuel to the flame when she decided to dress up as Michael for Halloween. In the video, Tana imitates Michael saying, I'm gonna lose my house over this. Offended, Michael responded, try me, teasing the release of his own documentary this week. Weiss claims that there were cameras filming throughout the entire process and he is ready to show the world his side of the story. Tana responded, Using footage of everyone that you have no right to use to try to make people pay for your streaming platform that you admitted you did TanaCon to promote is just weird and bad. I don't know why you're saying try me like you made a movie about me. I know who you really are, Michael. Take a joke. Michael responded, Oh no, you're wrong. This will be completely free. People need to see the truth. They need to see the footage. I woke up today to Tana making fun of me. While this may be a joke to her, I've dealt with this every day for the last five months. Disgusting. In the Shane Dawson documentary, Weiss was very open about how the TanaCon event decimated his personal finances. In a press release, Good Times Entertainment announced it filed for bankruptcy on October 17, 2018, and that the company would be dissolved in the following 60 days. Weiss filed for bankruptcy independently through Tennessee's bankruptcy courts. A bankruptcy trustee has been appointed to White's case, according to his lawyer. Weiss says that he's filed bankruptcy before, but there are no court documents to back that up. Weiss wrote, through this, I've discovered that I, we, simply will never truly be able to make this right. Due to TanaCon and the substantial loss that we value at approximately 700,000 USD, Chapter 7 bankruptcy is clearly the only option. At the time of the Shane Dawson documentary filming, Weiss claimed that he was pursuing litigation against the Marriott Suites Hotel in Anaheim for misleading him about the building's capacity. Weiss said he was told the hotel could hold 4,000 people, but the Garden Grove Police Department said the capacity was only 1,500. Many attendees demanded a refund, which Weiss said would only be available through Veeps, the ticketing system, or from Tana herself. We, Good Times, have no control over refunds. Veeps had advanced us around 135,000 in ticket sales to help cover the cost of event. This amount is owed to Veeps. This amount is included in the bankruptcy. The remaining 200,000 in earnings remain in their control. We encourage each attendee to seek refunds from them directly if you have not received this. Meanwhile, Weiss started a new company, Good Times TV a streaming platform aimed to rival YouTube in terms of content and monetization. In the email, Weiss says, Effective immediately, I personally will be taking the role of president and co-founder and board advisor for Good Times TV LLC. I'm proud to announce our new CEO, Ben Rosenfeld, has been appointed to help usher GTTV into a new digital landscape. Tana responded, How does one have the money to start a whole ass TV company and was claiming bankruptcy like five minutes ago? LMAO, like, what are you gonna put on your TV network? She then posted a text from Weiss that said, This doesn't even involve you. GTTV is a separate company, something brand new, chill. I'm not even the CEO, literally mind your own life. Tana's caption said, I'm living in a simulation, LMAO. In the documentary, Weiss claims that the footage brings a lot of new things to light. This film has hours of raw, unedited, and untampered footage of what really happened at TanaCon. I hope each of you watch this. It shared not only the truth, but provides a real clarity on what happened. This is my final project under Good Times Entertainment LLC before dissolution. Fans have mixed reactions. Loie Stromboli said, is Good Times Live seriously about to launch a network when they haven't even refunded everyone from TanaCon? LMAO, who would sign with them? Moral Shutdown replied, 
I wonder with what money Michael has made Good Times TV possible. I can almost smell the tax fraud from the other side of the world. And Shane Dawson himself responded with a joke, just box already. But what do you think about all this drama? Let us know in the comment section and don't forget to check back here for more of the developing story. And for more of What's Trending, head to whatstrending.com.